How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser and today's video is on my unboxing of the NVIDIA Shield console pro Which is a 500 gigabyte. I've been waiting since my day after my birthday And I want to do an unboxing without having to edit anything I have not done a video like this since I first started you know my channel I used to kind of not edit my videos and now I'm going to attempt and just unbox this as like you know how I normally would in case you were, you know, boxing. So this is just live, no edit. I'm gonna try to do my best not to stutter and not freak out. Oops, and move the camera so much. I'm using my Galaxy S6 Edge. Oh my God, yes. Dude, this box is heavy. It really is. Move this one. Woo, heavy box. Okay, so we see is it, it is an Android TV. If you haven't looked it up or heard about it, go look it up. I'm gonna make a full review, obviously, of this thing. I'm gonna make it as like one of my phone reviews, how I always do this. Voice control, 4K movies and TV and games, and I'm excited, I'm super, super excited. I can't wait to put emulators and games on this thing. And without you know wasting any more time, why did I put this knife down, come on. Um, here is, a, actually you don't need a knife, there's a little tab here we'll pull. We see the 500 gigabyte, and is there another one here? That one we might have to cut, so I'll just cut this one real quickly. There we go, and the box, is exactly how this contains. I feel like I'm breathing heavy. Am I breathing heavy? <laughs> I'm excited. This the way I open it. Let's just try to open it this way. Maybe not. Let's try to open it this way. Okay, so we're just gonna lit. Yep, this is the way. This is what it looks like. It's tiny, and you can feel the embrailment. It's actually a, a good feeling to it. 500 gig. We'll put that to the side. Okay, let's not breathe too loud. And then this is the console. Oh my god, this thing is heavy. Like it feels like it's. A solid metal piece in there. I did, wasn't sure when I first saw some people talking about how heavy it was. It does have its weight to it. I'm gonna take these little shiny things off just so it looks good. And there it is. Wow, it looks good. Hopefully, it looks good on the Galaxy S6. I'm not using the 4K. I should have gone 4K, but if I recorded in 4K, it would have been, you know, a five minute limit. So this is just. A pretty good recording. Wow, it feels good. It does not feel cheap. I'm gonna straight up tell you, it does not feel cheap. That's cool. I'm gonna put this to the side real quick. Look how tiny that thing is. I'm gonna put my G4 right next to it. And you can see how tiny this thing is. But it's heavy. Okay, we'll move on. Okay, take a breather here. <laughs> and uh, we have a different, it's not a micro or like the mini or you know just a regular USB, it's actually a different voltage for the charging to power this thingy. And the controller, I want to see this controller. Mm, it feels a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie, it looks good in a way-ish and I'm gonna say in a way-ish because I, I'm an Xbox fan and uh, I like the controllers and I'm not gonna take it away from PS4, PS4 controller is really good, I wish um, I could have both of them if I could afford them but um, Yep, uh, here this is supposed to be a trackpad, so we'll see how that works, and um, the, wow, wow, that does feel pretty good, it feels like you're actually holding a 360 remote, let me, let me get that, okay, so here's my 360, it's a little dusty, but it is a year old that I've been using it for, but it's very similar to the material feel to it, this one does feel heavier, because it does have like an internal battery, Versus the one that you replace here, it bulkier, and I I prefer the look of this one obviously, but Xbox you know put more money crazy on this, and I'm not saying this is not cheap or not not cheap. I'm not saying this is this feels cheap. It feels pretty good. The triggers feel not as quiet as this, but we're not gonna tr try to compare it to the Xbox One. I'm just telling you like just a quick comparison of what the look and quality is. So they definitely base it off of this one, which I really like. Whether NVIDIA wants to admit it or not, it's it's a good feeling controller regardless. And the D-pad, hated this on the 360. It's, uh, this should have just gone away. Once again, let me bring it back with this uh, D-pad. I finally fixed it, making it look a lot better. Um, PS4, PS3 has always had the better D-pad. And anyways, uh, that's a thing that maybe I'm hoping I can use a 360 controller also 360 or even the 360 yeah or the Xbox one controller to be able to use on this console of course Bluetooth um, such as uh, this one right here my Mocha controller that I use for my phone it's a uh, way cheap compared to this one this feels just this feels quality compared to my Moga 
controller which is cheap and light and not very sexy so yeah um i just don't like the way this looks and it's a little scrunchy but my hands fit very comfortable and here's the hdmi to plug in and the headphones which you can plug in headphones and all the audio that comes from this will be coming from here so you can listen to it from your couch from your bed from wherever you're at instead of having to blast it from the tv you can listen through it from your headphones that's pretty cool so yeah that's the controller now you know oh, don't move the camera come on now and then um am i talking fast i feel like i'm talking fast i'm like trying to get i'm excited to you know get this running i'm supposed to be doing uh my lg g4 giveaway of this phone whoops <laughs> and pathway whatever i don't need to read that but it comes what else comes in here um the hdmi the official one you want to stick to what they stick to or a really gold plated hdmi so you can play that 4k quality at crisp so we'll put that down and then there's the usb micro usb i'm pretty sure there you go yep for the controller to sync or you know charge and then this is a part for plug it into this since we're in the usa market we get to have this looker right here so if you're in a different country, you probably get the different one. And it is 6 p.m. now. So yeah, this is exciting. I'm excited to hook it up. I don't have time right now to, you know, do a quick, you know, showing of it being connected to my monitor or to my TV over there. <laughs> I'm just twisting it. I'll show you real quick how I have it. Oh, come on. I forgot that you touched, but it's a little dirty. Come I'm dirty. I'm a dirty, dirty. <laughs> But yeah, it's just my Galaxy S4, as you can see, that's how I just hung on to this bar. That's how I do my videos. But yeah, I'm excited to finish these other videos now, more than ever, to try to get into this console. I'm finishing everything up. I should have three videos within the next 24 hours posted. And I'm just going to upload this just how it is. And um, yeah, I'm excited to put emulators in Android TV and show you guys exactly how awesome gaming is going to be on this is supposed to keep up with like ps4 and xbox one we'll see and it is looking like it is going to be but i'm very excited about this little piece of hardware that does not feel cheap like nvidia you made a really solid looking piece here there's the infrared connector there's little vents right in here i think you can see or not but it's supposed to be really quiet and definitely definitely something excited for movies games awesome and i'm gonna end this at eight minutes almost Woo! hey i'm alive all right guys thank you for watching and i'll tune in soon with other videos okay see ya bye